All right, two people remain hospitalized after being struck on the Pearl Harbor Memorial Bridge last night. We are now learning that off-duty emergency aid workers, including some volunteer firefighters, jumped into action when they saw those two people pinned against the guardrail. The New Haven Fire Department says it all happened on the northbound side of the bridge following a two-car crash. And News 8's Brian Spiro says more on what happened. Talk about being in the right place at the right time. If we see something we know we could help, we're going to. There is no, uh, there's no turning it off. There's no being off duty. Dan Trickett and Chris Sanchez are volunteer firefighters for Riverside Company 6 in East Haven. And last night, they and other colleagues were driving over the Pearl Harbor Memorial Bridge when they came upon an accident and sprang into action to help. It was apparent that it was a serious impact involved, and uh, we initially wanted to see uh, how many patients we had. According to state police, two women from out of state were driving over the Q Bridge when smoke started coming from their car. They stopped. That's when a man in a truck pulled up to help. And that's when a bad situation got worse. According to state police, a third car coming up in the right lane crashed right into the truck. The truck then pinned the two girls right up against the Jersey barrier. I went over to the, uh, the first victim and uh... Uh, I thought she was just leaning up against the truck. It, she told me that she was trapped and that her cousin was trapped. I didn't see her cousin, so I looked over and it was one of those, uh, oh my God, moments. The group was ironically on their way home from a seminar about mental health first aid. Our, our main mission at that point was to assess their injuries and uh, be able to give a, a firsthand report to the uh, fire department when they arrived. These volunteers don't see any heroics in their actions. Instead, they were just doing what they're trained to do. First responders are first responders because that's what's inside of them. Reporting from New Haven, Brian Spiros, News 8.